So today we find ourselves with a very impromptu bow fishing opportunity because this morning we set out to scout for my upcoming primitive alligator hunt. And we saw lots of alligators and did everything we needed to do in regards to scouting. So on the way out, picked up the bow and said, let's see if we can't shoot a gar for lunch. So that's just what we did. Jeez. Man, and I, I didn't hit record till after you shot. Is that right? Yeah, you said hit record, and I was trying to reach for it. And hit record now. It's recording. <laughs> well, missed the shot. Uh, got his one. <laughs> awesome. Put him in the boat. Yeah. All right, we gutted him. We just want to get all that out, especially because if uh, if they have eggs in them, apparently the uh, eggs inside of a gar are actually poisonous to humans. Um, no need to skin them at all. Uh, right now we're just set it down by the fire. It'll start cooking a little bit and then as everything burns down we can actually just shift it right onto the coals and it'll cook right inside of its own shell and then as it cooks it's a little easier to actually remove this and we can get the meat out of it. Since this wasn't really a planned bow fishing day I uh, just kind of grabbed a primitive bow that I often use for bow fishing and of course we just used a modern uh, fiberglass fishing arrow and then also it was a good opportunity to try out a new uh, bow fishing spool made by Jesse Eastman he sent it to me to try out and I've never used one before and the string pretty much just wraps around it and when you shoot it it spools off really really easily so of course we gave that a try and it worked out really well gave us some good ideas for the future as well so then we brought the fish home and went ahead and just did a very simple process out so we could eat it for lunch. All right, once you yank it off the fire, the skin actually peels back pretty easy. A lot easier than skinning it ahead of time. And you can either pick it right off the bones and eat it, or cut it and put it on a plate. Really white, fluffy meat. And if you do it right, you can scrape it and leave all the bones right on it. Scrape it right off the ribs. Oops. Little dirt don't hurt. And you can just sit there and pick that thing as clean as you want it to be.